Well, this is a heck of a throwback. I was actually watching another uh, channel on YouTube last week called Lazy Game Reviews, LGR, um, and I spent literally an entire night just watching uh, this guy build up 80s and 90s computers using period modifications and uh, uh, parts. And I started looking on eBay for the models of computers, Molly. the models of computers that I grew up with. Um, I actually found, uh, my first computer was a Packard Bell Tower, uh, Pentium 166 megahertz. I found one, but they wanted huge money for it. Um, then I moved on to a Micron Millennia, uh, 450 megahertz Pentium 2. Then a uh, HP Pavilion 9694C, and that's the one I did most of the modification with because it had AGP. Um, which was a huge upgrade from the Micron's uh, PCI slots. That had a 700 megahertz AMD Athlon. Um, I think I had 384 megabytes of RAM, just tons and tons of upgrades from back in the day. And then, shortly thereafter, I bought a laptop. Um, it was a PCG F680. Boom, that's exactly what this one is. Um, I actually bought it from my brother, so it was secondhand. Um, but I was there for the original unboxing, and boy, is this a trip down memory lane. When I bought this, I actually had no idea that it came with the original box, so this is really super cool. Uh, my computer was a 700 megahertz Pentium 3. I believe this one's a 600, but look at all that bloatware that it comes bundled with. I think mine also came with ME, not 2000, uh, but 2000's actually a better OS. Let me see here. There's the manifest. Rechargeable lithium ion battery. <laughs> Removable flop drive. Wow, super cool. It doesn't really smell like anything. I was hoping it would smell like the 1990s. <laughs> but seriously, who keeps the original box? <clears throat> I suppose I'm one of those people. I have boxes for pretty much all of the computers that I currently own. Sitting in the basement. <clears throat> Okay, I'm gonna unpack this and then come back. I don't really want to drop it. As is continuing tradition, I will keep the packaging intact. And wow, this Vio is in fabulous condition. Floppy drive, DVD ROM, so you can watch DVDs on it but cannot burn CDs. 56K modem, PS2 port, wow, twin USB 1.1s. There's a little vent, power supply. Oh, FireWire 400, infrared, video out. That's actually got a PCMCI card in there right now. I'll have to look and see what that is. That is not factory. And then we've also got the batteries in there. Uh, one cool thing about this computer was uh, you could actually pull out the floppy drive and put in a second battery. <clears throat> Looks like at one point they uh, upgraded it with XP Home Edition. It's got COAs for both. <laughs> Let's see, does it have a year? Uh, if it does, I don't see it. A little feet to stand it up, I remember that. Of course, docking station. And that glorious 14, I think, maybe it's a 15 inch, might be a 15 inch XGA screen. Speakers, that Vio texture from the 2000s. And oh yeah, designed for 2000 professional Pentium 3. PCG F680K. Very cool. My first one, like I said, was an F680, but it was not a K. And from what I gather, the K just means Windows 2000. So I'm gonna plug this bad boy in and boot it up. Oh, well, before any of that, actually. There's a serial to serial adapter, and it looks like that is an Ethernet card, which is pretty cool. There's the dongle for it. Apparently my Echo wants to help. There's a Space Saber for a second battery, which is cool. Original PCMCIA, wow, okay, little block offs. Uh, looks like that's probably the original piece of secondary RAM, so it probably has upgraded RAM. I don't know the specs on it. None of that was listed when I bought it. Windows 2000 Professional, Owner's Guide, 
recovery discs. I knew it had those. I really wanted that. It's actually kind of hard to find a working copy of Windows 2000 these days. Bloatware, battery warranty, a receipt for a replacement battery in 2001. Wow, crazy. Wow. I'll have to look through some of the paperwork, probably not on video, just to try to protect the person a little bit better that I bought it from. Uh, hopefully that packaging material survives. He's a goofy kitty. So, yep, we just plug her in, see what she's made of. Well, the power adapter is lit up. And it actually looks like it is charging a battery. Moment of truth. Check some bad. Interesting. Wow, okay, so somebody definitely upgraded the RAM. 192 megs. Okay, so it probably has a bad BIOS. Uh, battery, time and date settings, DVD ROM, and seeing the floppy drive. Pretty cool. Oh, this is a 700. The listing was wrong. It said it was a 600. That's exactly like my original computer. What's on it right now? XP Professional, okay. Mm. Oh, this is booting basically real time here. We get to learn about the specs together. Yep, BIOS battery is definitely bad. Definitely a clone. This hard drive. Let's just have a backup Windows XP partition. Yep, 192 megs of RAM, 700 megahertz. Let's see what kind of hard drive we're dealing with. 20 gig. Wow, yep, wow, this is exactly the same spec as the computer I used to have. So cool. What is that for a graphics card, I wonder? Isn't that like a Rage, ATI Rage? Yup, eight megabyte Rage mobility. Very cool. I'm gonna try some, uh, some older games like Diablo 2 and Red Alert on this thing, but uh, for right now, <laughs> uh, I don't know, that was cool. It was cool to unwrap a 20 year old laptop, well, almost 20 year old laptop again for the first time. Brings back a lot of memories. Wow, super cool. I'll be curious to see if that battery ends up holding any charge. If it does, that's pretty impressive. I can't really see this color difference with my eye, but I can see it with my phone camera, so this thing's gonna need quite a wipe down. Still, thanks for watching. It's pretty cool. <laughs>